Hi everyone, it's Noella here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make my chicken stir fry. First, I get some sweet corn and put it in a pot just like that. And I've added some water to it and I'm going to put it on the stove and get it start boiling once I turn the oven on. In the meantime, I've already chopped up some broccoli and I'm going to give it a wash. Once that's all done, I'll put it back in the bowl. And the next thing I'm gonna do is get some of these dried noodle thins ready. I use about three lots of these into a pot, so I'm gonna bring the water to a boil. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to get my frying pan ready, or big wok, sort of a wok. And I've already gone to the supermarket and bought some chopped up mushrooms, so that's easier for me to do. And I'm going to add in some onion. So for just me, I'll only have to use just one onion. And there it is, already chopped up. And I've already had some chicken breast, which I've already chopped up as well. So firstly, we're going to do is fry these onions. And now the onions have been frying for about five minutes, so now I'm going to add in the broccoli just to soften it up a little bit. And while that's cooking, I'm going to cover it. I add a little bit of water in there so it can steam a little. Just checking on the corn to make sure it's boiling, which it is. It's good. Turn it down. We'll turn it off. <laughs> Check the back one to make sure it's boiling, and yes it is, to get it ready for the noodles. And I'm going to use salt and pepper and some garlic powder. And I've added the mushrooms in already, sorry I skipped that part. Now I'm going to add some salt. And some pepper. And I'm trying to add a bit of garlic, but I'm having trouble opening it. There we go. That's a bit better. Adding some bit of garlic. I love my garlic. Yum. And now giving that all a stir up so it gets evenly cooked. There we are. All nice and stirred up and covering that for at least five minutes. And now the corn is ready to put into there. Corn into there. And there we go. You, I didn't add any butter with the corn because it's already tastes sweet on its own. The water's really boiling, so it's ready for the noodles to go in now. I love these cute little noodles. They expand quite a bit. So for myself, using a bulk lot of chicken stir fry, I will use three of those. One. Two. And three. Sorry if you can hear any noise outside, I've got scaffolding and painters outside. Let that boil until the noodles separate. Checking on that. Mmm, looks delicious. Now, what it's done, I've done is I've actually taken the vegetables out of the wok and put it into a container or a little bowl on the side because now I'm about to cook the chicken stir fry. Like that. And you gotta make sure chicken is cooked properly, otherwise you can get sick. Give it a good even it all out. 
don't want any pieces stuck together. Noodles are just about done. And just let that sit for a minute and get browned. Has to get browned up real good. Now the noodles are almost done. Now the noodles are done, so I mixed a little bit of oil in there to so stop them from sticking. I let them cool down, I put a bit of cold water in them before to rinse them to make sure they stop cooking. And I browned up my chicken with soya sauce. Now this is how I like to do my noodles. I add some soya sauce on the side of the wok, like that. And then I add some noodles into it. Make sure I get some that aren't sticky. And like so, and I mix it into the soya sauce to brown the noodles up, just like that. more and take it all and just repeat the same process taking it add a bit of more soy sauce until all of it's into the wok like that yum and once it's all in you give it a good stir up and then grab the veggies and add half of them at a time so that they all get mixed in really well. Yum. And there you go, you can mix them all over. And that's the end result. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Bye.